Hello everyone, this is Turquoise. How are you doing? It's Sunday. How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday or whatever day you're listening to this? It's Sunday right now where I am. Someone asked me to uh, do a rundown of my six principles in my universal ethics process, which is coupled with my mental wellness process. I practice five modules of mental wellness and six principles in universal ethics. The uh, acronym I practice, my uh, mentor and I have affectionately named it Geismic, G-I-E-S-M-C, Geismic. And the G stands for gratitude, the I stands for integrity, the E stands for ethical love, The S stands for safe home, the M stands for modesty, and the C stands for compersion. And let me give you guys a rundown on on all of them. I'll do my best to be brief on each of them. Gratitude speaks for itself. Counting our blessings in my experience no longer means invalidating my negative experiences or my emotions such as fear and anger etc when I count my blessings when I when I count my benefits my gratitude that does help me get grounded and calm down and my uh, geismic principle goes like this look upon others with gratitude rather than seeking gratification all too often in our society I believe we use other people We're afraid of being used and we're afraid of using people without knowing it. So if we have an attitude of gratitude when we deal with people, instead of an attitude of gratification, seeking gratification, we're in good shape. We're following the principle of Geismic. I stands for integrity, being able to walk the earth in integrity with a sense of protection around you, with a sense of safety, and uh, knowing that we deserve respect and knowing that others deserve respect, we can walk with one another or amongst one another in integrity. E stands for ethical love, and that means no infidelity and no cheating. That goes for, if you're you're solo, if you're... uh, living by yourself or practicing self intimacy or getting getting with yourself and you're practicing a solo lifestyle you don't use other people sexually you don't seek instant gratification from others it might be a little bit a little bit of the G the gratitude thing we don't seek gratification we uh, we partner with ourselves or for with a partner for with a monogamous partner we uh, practice intimacy and love love only with our partner and we love the rest of the world as brothers and sisters and siblings like like family or like uh, at least uh, benign associates if not friends um, even if we're in a polyamorous or polygamous arrangement um, we stay within our arrangement with uh, sexual or romantic behavior we don't go outside that arrangement any arrangement whether from solo to poly we don't go outside that arrangement even if we're living with 10 or 12 people and engaging in relations with them intimate relations with them um, we must stay within that only and not cheat on our arranged partnership Um, if we're with a traditional monogamous partner we don't go outside that if we have feelings or desires for anyone outside we seek counsel from our higher power and or a trusted person and we uh, look within instead of uh, acting on our feelings and that's something I'm struggling with right now in my life 
I'm trying to stay only within my uh, arrangement. Even if I were living, even if I were single, even if I weren't partnered, I have to stay with myself. Regardless whether I, I um, have self-sex or not, I have to stay with myself. And because God made sex sacred, and in my experience, God made sex for two reasons, to procreate and to bond with a partner or partners. And that means within our, our arrangement, not outside, not just because it feels good, because that can be unethical, that can hurt other people, that can break a lot of hearts and betray very much. And whether you know it or not, you're probably feeling, we're probably feeling guilty about that if we're doing that kind of thing. So uh, repent, and repent means to change. It doesn't necessarily just mean to say, God forgive me. Okay, the M, let's see, the S stands for, I almost skipped over one, wow. The S stands for safe home. Um, safe home is a result of ethical love. You produce a safe home, whether you're living by yourself, living with a partner, or in a partner arrangement beyond monogamy. Um, you are creating a safe home simply by being faithful and wanting to be faithful and, and doing it, doing that instead of acting on your, your mammon carnal desires it, just because you have them. Um, the M stands for modesty. Um, I believe in my experience when we compliment each other, compliments are usually for some. Um, I like your pretty dress. I like your, um, I like uh, chicken fajitas. I'm just giving examples. Yes, we have favorites. We're human. We have favorite colors. We have favorite preferences. We, um, we love to look at, look at the things we like to look at. We like to eat the things we like to look at. And we, we, we like each other when we're attractive or pretty or uh, desirable. And um, that's human and that's understandable. But um, I believe that God made us all for a purpose. God made us all for, for a reason. God made us all beautiful in His eyes. And um, when we practice too much flattery, when we practice flattery on ourselves, we'll have narcissistic behavior, narcissistic tendencies. When we practice flattery on each other, we become codependent. We become uh, externally stimulated a little too much. And uh, the people that were uh, complimenting, you know, whether it goes to their head or not, you know, it could cause some discomfort. Um, we all deserve... We all deserve um, love, and um, loving ourselves does not mean self-flattery. You can study that if you want to, because I'm trying to keep it brief. And compersion. Compersion is often talked about in the poly polyamorous community, but I think it should be addressed in general as a universal concept, because... Jealousy, compersion is the opposite of jealousy. I looked up the opposite of jealousy and compersion came up. And uh, they talked about romantic relationships and polyamory. And once I started practicing compersion in my life in general, my anxiety was reduced, my depression was even reduced. And I felt more connected with God and with humanity and with the world at large. So. I hope that helps. I practice Geismic, ladies and gentlemen. My Ideals Church of Universal Ethics, my church within. My relationship with God and the Lord. And you don't have to be a Christian to practice the six principles. You can be a Christian. You can be. You can believe in anything. You can even be an atheist. You don't have to call it God. But um, you notice I don't say God in my six principles. Um, it's really about following your conscience. It's really about being at peace with yourself and the world. It's really about feeling good about yourself and about others. And it doesn't mean you have to, you know, turn only to mammon 
mammon ideas and mammon uh, principles and mammon uh, things to uh, do that. You can look up mammon if you want. M A M M O N. It's like spelling mammoth, only it's an, there's an N on the end instead of T H. Mammon, you know, and carnal. You don't have to, you know, have all those things to feel like you're okay. All right, I'm gonna go. Be safe, everybody. I love you.